okay now we look at this topic here create vendor master purchasing view this is an interesting topic we have already create uh, created vendor master in our accounting module but the vendor data that we created in the accounting module does not have uh, some pertinent information required for material management module for example let me just go to material management purchasing master data vendor purchasing create I'm going to create the uh, I'm going to pull out sorry I'm going to pull out the vendor account that we created in our fin finance module which is 40001 and I'm going to enter when I press enter I get this screen here whereby there are some fields called order currency terms of payment in quote terms minimum order value and so forth as you can see here the order currency maybe terms of payment is not nothing new because we have already maintained a terms of payment in uh, our accounting uh, topics when creating the vendor let me just pull out the accounting data of vendor the same vendor this is where we created our vendor display 4001 for sun company code all okay terms of payment is something that we have already entered in uh, in our accounting view okay let me explain how uh, vendor is actually structured one vendor master data is actually structured it has got three important areas namely general data general data company code data company code data and purchasing data so what this means is that a vendor master record can have three different areas so what we are seeing in the accounting module over here is actually general data and company code data as you can see here general data and company code data you are seeing these two entries in the vendor creation screen found in the accounting data accounting module fk03 okay but how about the third one purchasing data purchasing purchasing data cannot be seen here it has to be pulled out from this menu here all right let me come in again here okay you enter the same vendor that already exists and, and enter the purchasing organization and press enter you don't have to enter any account group because it already exists okay if you if you're creating a fresh vendor which does not exist in the system you can enter the account group but in this case it already exists we are just extending the purchasing data information for this vendor so you don't have to enter so when you press enter you can set different fields which does not exist in any of the general data or company code data okay the reason why the system design in this way is that until and unless you activate the material management module we don't really have to bother the finance users to enter the order currency in code terms minimum order value and all that because for the finance department uh, their vendors will not have these values here because the order currency and, and uh, because finance vendors will not have minimum order value and so forth these informations are only required in the material man management module so only when you activate the material management module you need to enter these data purchasing data in these fields 
and bear in mind that this purchasing data can be different for each purchasing organization in other words whatever values that I enter here is only relevant for this purchasing organization when I pull out the uh, San Francisco purchasing organization for the same vendor I can enter different set of values without overriding the values that I enter for New York that's the advantage of this so what is order currency order currency is actually the currency in which we can order with this vendor if this vendor is based in UK and if they do not accept any orders in uh, USD we have to enter GBP here because we need to enter the orders in uh, British pounds but if this is a US based vendor we can just enter USD here because the vendor will accept orders in USD, US currencies terms of payment can be different from the terms of payment that is entered here in the company code data here sorry not here no sorry here company code data I'm saying this company code data because I can see the company code here alright under this section there's the payment payment of terms in this section and this section so we'll see which one will take precedence okay as I told you earlier since the terms of payment key can also be entered in the company code data so how do we know which terms of payment will be used very simple when a different terms, terms of payment key is entered in the purchasing data when you raise a purchase order from the MM module these terms of payment will be used however when you raise a invoice a finance invoice in the finance module without going through the MM then the terms of payment key which is entered in the accounting view or company code view will be used this is what is explained here in this last sentence here master records have a separate areas for financial accounting purchasing you can specify different terms of payment key in each of these areas when you then enter business transaction the application in question will use the key specified in its area of the master record okay if you cannot understand this just refer back to what I said earlier so if you raise a purchase order these terms of payment key will be used and the one that is specified in the company code data will not be used okay in code terms is uh, free on board and so forth minimum order value is something that if the vendor does not accept very small order values they will accept only a minimum order value of 100 quantity or 1000 quantity you can maintain that here and the salesperson data who's a salesperson who who's uh, the account manager with the vendor you can enter that account with vendor is the account number that the man vendor has created for us in their system okay then there are various other check boxes here I'm not going to go through each and one of it because it will be very time consuming and confusing for you the most important one is the GR based invoice verification if I check this then for any purchase orders that I create for this vendor will have to be uh, sorry uh, the, those purchase orders will, will have to be received first in the good receive before we can raise a invoice for this vendor this, may, this means that it's a GR based invoice verification and it's not invoice based in uh, uh, invoice based uh, uh, good receive verification okay okay I'm going to select this because most of the times it's always GR based invoice verification if there is no good receive exists for a purchase order no invoices can be raised for this vendor okay let's save this So I have created the purchasing data, purchasing view for this vendor 4001. Until and unless you create a purchasing view for a vendor, you will not be able to use this vendor in any purchase orders. The system will simply say that there is no purchasing view for this vendor. Okay. Let's 
try out that so we created uh, purchasing view it's as simple as that I'm going to end the topic here